what is Sage SQL Replicator and how does it benefit you? This video describes the 18.2 version of this tool and will examine how to install, configure, and use SQL Replicator. Sage SQL Replicator is a tool that copies your Sage 300 construction and real estate data from the pervasive data management system into a SQL Server database. The replicated data includes your purchasing, inventory, and service management data if you use those products. Sage SQL Replicator lays the foundation for accessing your data through Sage Construction Central for mobile reports and mobile dashboards. Even if you don't use the mobile intelligence applications, using the SQL Server data for reporting results in improved processing performance. To find out how to use the SQL data for reporting in your on-premise Sage 300 construction and real estate applications, see Knowledge Base Article 86874. Next, let's examine how to prepare for implementing Sage SQL Replicator. First, you'll need to upgrade your software to version 18.1 or higher. This lesson is based on version 18.2. And, as with any upgrade, you should review the release documents beforehand. The easiest way to get to these documents is through your Sage desktop. Go to Help, Product Documents. This takes you to the Product Documents web page. SQL Replicator adds to the demands of your server resources. Make sure to go over the system's requirements document for the recommended server configurations in terms of the operating system and hardware. You should also download the Sage SQL Replicator Setup Guide so you can follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Make sure to use the version of the guide that matches the version of your software. SQL Replicator requires a dedicated instance of SQL Server, which can be installed on the accounting server or on a different server. And depending on the size of your company folder, you may be able to use SQL Server Express, which comes at no extra cost instead of SQL Server Standard Edition or SQL Server Enterprise Edition, which are purchased separately. Refer to the System Requirements document or the Setup Guide on how to determine if you're able to use SQL Server Express. We recommend that you consult with your IT professional on the addition of SQL Server that will best suit your organization based on the features, the size of your database, and processing needs. Before you replicate your data, it's a good idea to run File Doctor so it can check and fix any corrupt files before the replication process. If you use the Canadian or Australian edition of Sage 300 CRE, there are some additional setup steps for SQL Replicator. Make sure you download the setup guide for the instructions. Next, let's examine the installation process. SQL Replicator requires a dedicated instance of SQL Server, which you can install on your Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate Accounting Server or on a different server. Your Sage 300 CRE software comes with the Sage SQL Installer tool. We strongly urge you to use this tool to install the SQL Server instance so that it works correctly with Sage SQL Replicator. If you're installing the SQL Server instance on a server other than your Sage 300 CRE accounting server, install the Sage SQL Installer tool on that machine. You can do so by finding the suzy.exe file in the extracted installation files for Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate and copying that file to the server where you will install the SQL Server instance. Then double-click the exe file to install the installer tool. To install the SQL Server instance, go to the machine where it will be installed and log on as a user with local admin permissions. During the installation, this Windows user will be added to the SQL Server sysadmin role. Locate the Sage SQL Installer in the Sage Administration group. If you're on version 18.2 and you're installing the SQL Server instance on your accounting server, you can also open the Sage SQL Installer from the Sage System Administrator. This tool is a wizard that walks you through the various steps of the installation. 
It ensures that the SQL Server instance is installed with the correct configuration and settings. Now, let's examine the configuration and replication process. Log on to the Sage 300 CRE accounting server as a user with local admin permissions. This Windows username must also have the sysadmin role in SQL Server. Open the System Administrator in the Sage Administration Group. In the Logon window, enter the credentials for a Sage 300 CRE user that has the Application Administrator role. In the box next to Server Name, select the name of the instance that you created earlier. Use Windows Authentication. Your Windows domain and username are automatically entered. Click Connect. You are prompted to create the configuration database. Click Yes and wait while the database is created. When finished, the Replicator Configuration tab shows the companies in your Open Company list. If you plan to access the replicated data through mobile reports or mobile dashboards in Sage Construction Central, Click Link to Mobile. Your mobile website will be available once the initial replication is finished. For each company, select the mode of replication, the Run As account, and save the configuration. Then click Start to begin the replication process. Let's examine what modes are available and their function. How you intend to use the replicated data for reporting and whether you use Sage field operations determine which mode you should use. Live provides continuous synchronization of all tables between the pervasive and SQL Server databases. Use this mode if you need up-to-the-minute information for reporting in both your mobile and your Sage on-premise applications. The live mode is suitable for SQL reporting in Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate and Sage Construction Central Mobile Intelligence with or without Sage field operations. But be aware that of all the modes, this one uses the most resources on your server. Please review the version 18 system requirements for the recommended hardware specifications for using the live mode. If you don't need up-to-the-minute information for reporting in your mobile and on-premise applications, use Scheduled. After the initial replication, it stops, then begins again at a time that you specify. The default replication schedule is set to 10 p.m. every 24 hours, but you can use the Windows Task Scheduler to specify the replication recurrence. Each replication process synchronizes all tables between the pervasive and SQL Server databases. The scheduled mode gives you control over the replication frequency and is suitable for SQL reporting in Sage 300 Construction Real Estate and Sage Construction Central Mobile Intelligence with or without Sage field operations. Use minimal only if you use Sage field operations without SQL reporting in your Sage on-premise applications or Sage Construction Central Mobile Intelligence. This is because this mode limits the replication to only those pervasive tables used by Sage field operations. That's why it's not suitable for SQL reporting or mobile intelligence. To learn which tables are replicated using this mode, see Knowledge Base Article 93399. When you select None as the mode, the data for that company is not replicated. For this demonstration, we'll set the mode to Scheduled for Timberline Construction. For the U.S. edition of Sage 300 CRE, select Default as the Run As account. For the Canadian and Australian editions of Sage 300 CRE, select Other. Then enter the Windows credentials for the user whose region is set to the appropriate country. You can find the additional setup instructions in the Sage SQL Replicator Setup Guide. Save your configuration settings. 
For the live and minimal modes, you must click Start to begin the replication. For the scheduled mode, you don't need to click Start, as the replication process will automatically start at the scheduled time. But for this demonstration, we'll click Start so you can see what to expect. Notice the status changes to Initializing, then Replicating. For each pervasive company that you replicate, a database named after the company is added to the instance. The replication process creates a series of database tables, views, and settings for security. And while the replication is in progress, users can continue to work in Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate without interruption. Take note that when you replicate the data for the very first time, you cannot access the SQL Server database until the replication is finished. The length of time it takes to complete the initial replication depends on the size of your database and your server hardware. You can click View Status to open the log and see the progress. Under certain conditions, you'll have to stop the replication and start it again. These circumstances include when you make changes to custom descriptions, or when you add or change custom fields, or when a new file is created. For example, when you archive entries for the very first time and it creates a history file. If you make changes to security settings, click Sync Security. We recommend that you download the Sage SQL Replicator Setup Guide for detailed information and step-by-step -step instructions. Want to learn more about Going Mobile? Check out Sage University. On the Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate homepage, you'll find a collection of complimentary instructional videos on mobile access. The Mobile Intelligence series covers how to set up your Sage Construction Central website and how to set up and use mobile reports and mobile dashboards.